welcome back to Strategy and Small Doses. I hope everybody's having a great day. As always, if you want to share with me how you're feeling, I love it when people do that. I really appreciate it. So please do not hesitate to reach out and just say, hey, listen to your podcast. Wanted to say hello, let you know how I was doing, right? Like I asked the question, but it's really, it is meant to get a response. <laughs> I don't just say it just to say it. But anyway, all right, today we're talking about getting specific, getting specific in your content, getting specific on your sales calls, getting specific in your conversations, and really in talking about what you offer, how you offer it, what it covers. So often I see offers that are put out there that say, whatever you're struggling with, we'll make sure we get it done. Or if you're struggling with your marketing, my offers for you. If you're struggling to get started, let's work on this. If you're struggling with overwhelm, we, you know, here's my offer, right? Like those are so vague. They're so, so vague and they leave way too much room for interpretation. They leave way too much room for assumption that A, this isn't for me or this is not, you know, you want to really speak to your client and also get specific in letting them know how they can work with you, what it looks like and who is it a best fit for, right? So, what I'm talking about here is in your offers, right? If you have a power hour, don't just say, I've got four spots available for my power hour. Okay, great. You're, uh, you're assuming people understand that what they're going to gain in a power hour. You're assuming that people make that um, correlation as to what they're struggling with and how you can serve them. But get more specific with that. Talk about the things that you can cover. Are you struggling with increasing your prices and need help trying to figure out what is the next best price for you? Are you struggling with blah, blah, blah? You know, really get specific in it. But also, and I know so many of you will say, I don't want to get too specific because I really can help them do anything. And that's fine, but like put, bring up certain topics. Like what are some things that we can go over? What are some of the areas? And I don't want you to get too detailed into all the deliverables. It's like you're going to get a 60 minute session and then a 30 minute this. Like obviously you want to do that, but you really want to speak to what are they going to gain from this? What are the outcomes? So that's one side of the specificity that I want to talk about. But the other side is, is like, don't just assume people know how they can work with you, right? We see it all the time in our content, like DM me, I've got two spots available. Or, hey, maybe if you're struggling with this and you do get really specific, you can say, I can help you, right? And But the thing is, people don't know, like, what does that look like? What does her package look like? You're, you're again, making the assumption that they know what your packages are, that they know what they cost, that they have made it to your website, and that they've read all that. The reality is people don't, right? And... A lot of the social media platforms don't want people bouncing from the social platform to a website. So put the information out there, put the information in your content. Here's how you can work with me. I have this package, it's a power hour, and it's a 60 minute session, including onboarding, blah, 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 and it's this price. I have a six week program with my route to fully booked. It's one-on-one, -on -one. each week we'll do, you know go through a different stop on the route. It's $24.97 for one-to-one, -one, one hour sessions each week. And here's all of the different topics that we'll cover or blah, blah, blah. Like get specific in how people can work with you. Um, there's a lot of people that do this on LinkedIn that I see and it's really, really good because they put like, here's the ways we can work together. And sometimes it's like the done for you services. Sometimes it's done with you. Don't leave room for interpretation because the second you leave room for interpretation, people get confused, they don't understand, they move on, right? But if somebody says, I have three spots available for a power hour and here's what it covers, here's what it doesn't cover, here's who it's for, here's who it's not for. I mean, you've heard all this before, but I just think that so many people, myself included, don't get me wrong, like I'm not like, a, I, I tell you this all the time, like I give this advice, but it's because I struggle with it too. You know, you have to be as specific as possible, you know, and I talk a lot about this in, if you um, watch the masterclass with, for my route to fully booked masterclass, if you watch it, if not, you can catch the replay. But I talk a lot about this in that target market section of like, get really specific. What are the things that are keeping them up at night? What, what are the things that they're struggling? Don't just say they're struggling with overwhelm. Don't just say if you're struggling with your marketing, if you're struggling to figure out where you should be on social media, if you're struggling to write content that converts, 
no, like that's okay. Like those are pretty specific, right? If you're struggling with content that converts, if you feel like you're writing and it's not converting, this is what we can talk about. Here's what the audit will include. Um, if you're struggling with increasing your pricing and you're not sure, should you raise your price? Should you not raise your price? What should you raise your price to? What should you not raise it to? You know, where's your market feeling? What are they not? You know, that's very specific. Let's talk about it in a power hour, right? The more specific you can be, the less room for interpretation and assumption that there is. So ask questions, get curious, like get curious to your client, but also just make it easy for them. Make it easy. You know, I, don't make it so difficult. Um, I just recently booked a power hour with somebody for TikTok and it was very clear. During the power hour, here's what we will cover. Your username, um, best fit username, hashtag research, content strategy for your videos, how to identify your target audience on the platform, um, what type of videos you should be creating. Like it was so specific. Like at the end of it, I have a clear understanding of what I should be gaining at the end of this. That is incredible. And I know there's so many of us that are like super multi-passionate and we can talk about a million things and you don't want to get very specific, but those are the things that are going to make it sell, right? Like if she just said to me, if you're struggling with TikTok or you want to get started on it, book a power hour. I probably would not have seen the value in the power hour, but because it was very clear what the expectation was and what I could expect on the receiving end of that, it made it a lot easier to say yes, right? And it's not like it's dirt cheap, but I also know that at the end of this, I'm going to have my username picked out because she, inside her workshop, she talked a lot about that, how important it was, specific hashtags. She's, she's read the algorithm, so she's going to explain it to me. You know, I know at the end of it what I'm going to gain from it. That is what sells. It made it, yep, I'm in, I'm in. You know, the second people don't know what to expect, they're out. So the more clear you can be, the more specific you can be, the better conversion you will have. All right, I'll talk to you soon.